Please welcome the host of The Late Late Show on CBS, James Corden. How are you? It's lovely to walk out as everyone sits down. <laughs> Could have just held it for 30 seconds more. Uh, what about Bono? Incredible. But he's won it now. The question is, who will it be next year? Just saying, remember who was here when they hadn't won one, yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm honoured to be here tonight to pay tribute to the deeply glamorous, wildly talented, truly visionary, and completely incomparable Gwen Stefani, ladies and gentlemen. She is the voice of every woman, and always has been, since she first broke out with No Doubt decades ago. She fooled us in many ways, is the truth. You did, Gwen. You fooled us by saying that she's just a girl. She's not just a girl. She's won three Grammy Awards, an American Music Award, two Billboard Music Awards, four VMAs, has launched multiple fashion lines, and hold, has sold 30 million albums worldwide. That doesn't sound like just a girl to me. My ex-girlfriend, she's literally just a girl. Over her career, she's been a true inspiration. In the 90s, she inspired me to wear half shirts. <laughs> until my friends inspired me not to. And in times like this, if the feminist leads it, think about this, in times like this, and I know it's been a deep, e deep evening, in times like this, if the feminist lead singer of a ska band and a popular country singer can shack up, <laughs> then maybe this country can heal itself. Think about that. She's amazing. Gwen, when she sings, you feel her feelings. When Gwen's feeling angry, you're feeling angry. When Gwen's feeling sad, you're feeling sad. And when Gwen's feeling hella good, you're feeling hella good. Let's take a look at Gwen Stefani. Gwen is a little girl. She was always kind and sweet, thoughtful. She had a very generous heart. I loved being girly. I couldn't keep her out of my makeup. I loved to dress up in my mom's clothes. She used to pat her food and hum when she was in her high chair. In the teenage years, there was sort of a rumor that they called her Froggy, and I asked her, why are they giving you that name? And she said, well, you know, it's my big eyes and my great big smile. A frog. 1987 Gwen would think, no way! My first impression of meeting Gwen, she was just as cool as she was in any of her clips. Like, she made braces cool. She just was so rebellious. I'm just trying to be real and honest. Even when you're a diehard fan, you feel like you know him. But I don't think anyone knows how hard Gwen loves. Like, she loves hard. Whatever she's going through, it's going to come out in a song. This year has been mind-blowing. Just can look back and go, wow, there was a time where I didn't know how I was going to get through it. It was really hard to get the courage. This year was important for Gwen because it's another one of those times in your life where a situation shows you what you're made of. Taking the pain, trying to make something great out of it is what I really tried to do. Like, please let me, just let me use my talent. Let me just be that person again. It happened and it worked. Right now, I'm feeling a little bit like Rocky on the top of the steps with the hands up going, whoa, like. I feel like a triumph because I know how hard that I worked this year to get myself to a peaceful place. I just did my rehearsal. It's the day before our first show in Boston. Hey, what's up? Good morning. My song is just on the radio right now. I'm just to be real and honest and share my story. To be able to, to touch on music again and to be able to go on tour and to be able to say thank you in real life, really be there singing live and say, wow, you're the ones, you're the ones that, that listen. So scared. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, give it up for your 2016 Glamour Woman of the Year, the incredible Gwen Stefani! <laughs> I um I was I was just I wanted to talk are, are, are the girls up there everybody keeps pointing up there like there's little girls up there but I <laughs> honestly no way in my life would I have ever dreamed that this would be happening to me right now so I never thought I would touch anyone's lives or make an impact in any way so you could be next you never know but I I just want to say that I was on my way here, driving by myself in the limo, and I, and I was like, "What? How did this happen to me? Like, how did I get here? How did this happen this year?" And I was just thinking back, and I was thinking about my parents, and I was thinking about my mom and dad, the greatest mom and dad in the world, that loved me the most out of anyone, and they they planted a seed inside me when I was a little girl, and it was a seed of faith, and if I didn't have that this last year, or it, this year was incredible, by the way. It was a year and a half ago. I was, I was in a pool of tears, and I was so disappointed, and I was so, I was so low that I didn't think that there was any way that I could, I could pick myself back up. But I just remembered that, that God gave me a gift, and I just wanted to use that gift again so badly. And I knew I had to do it, and I knew that that was what my responsibility was because... I knew I was chosen to do that, so I just basically started pouring my heart into music, and music has saved my life. I never thought I would have, you know, this gift to music. I don't even know where it came from, but I'm so honored to be able to share my story. I'm so honored that I got to make a record at this point in my life and share my story with people and exchange that love back and forth. And I'm so grateful to everybody around me that helped me this year, and it was a magical time. And I just want to say thank you to my parents for that gift of faith. I want to say thank you to everyone that ever listened to my music. I am so honored and grateful. And um, to my children, to my family, to Blake Shelton for kissing me back to life. Thank you so much. I am I'm blown away. I'm blown away by this room. Unbelievable courage. It's, it's unbelievable to be here tonight, and I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much for honoring me. Cindy and Glamour, I am just a girl. <laughs>